What's going on, people? Uh, welcome to this surprising episode of The Corner. Um, so glad to have you guys here, man. Um, again, LR16 Scale Man channel. Thank you for basically being here. If you are here at this moment, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now because uh, we're going to definitely have a talk. Um, again, uh, there was a reveal, yet another reveal uh last night mind you a reveal not a release a reveal um hot toys when you're gonna learn like straight up like and i'm, I'm just finding like there's there's certain levels of uh in, in, inconsistencies you know what i mean one minute like we're praising them for a reveal that you know definitely is worth it long overdue and then they follow that up with something that literally I felt that when we got the first re-release, it should have been an exclusive or it should have been a, you know, you know, we, we, we should have basically got a, 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 a another option, put it that way. You know what I mean? Um, give us the deluxe edition of this figure. You have the regular edition. Give us the deluxe version with the diorama base. Same thing you did with Wolverine. Same thing you've done with other figures um, that actually come with diorama bases. But no, Hot Toys, you didn't do that. You didn't do it. You um, took it upon yourself to basically give us a re-release of a figure that we just got released not too long ago um, and then didn't give us a choice. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of us would have actually wanted that diorama base, would have probably gotten it if it was available at that time. But no, you know, a lot of us who have actually ordered and gotten purchased that Mark V, now we have to look at the simple fact that now you're giving us a reissue of a reissue you just actually released a couple months back with a diorama base that, you know, pretty much we don't have the option of getting separately so far from what I'm seeing. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't really make sense. But we're going to go into it first. Let me address the chat real quick. Who we got here with us, man? Uh, yeah, we got uh, Marvelous Reviews. We got Blitz0065 in the building. Um, Alvin J. We got Marco Polo. TK1999. Aunt P. We got uh, Calvin Williams is there. Uh, you know, Collector Joey. Dustin Sabrant is here. Collector Joey is actually here. Let me see who else we got. Jonathan King. Kinky Sphincters in the building. Um, and then also Gilbert Hartman. Uh, and probably be a few more people actually coming in here. We got Gabriel Munez. We got Figure Asic Park. My God, Figure Asic. So more Iron Man figures. Hello, everyone. Good to see you all. So good to see you too, bro. You've been where you've been at, man. We've been we've been missing you, bro. So glad to see you, man. I'll see you in a minute. But yeah, um, yeah, a lot to I guess embellish with this. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure there would be some people out there who are happy with it, but I'm just not happy at how they did this. I, Hot toys, you got to do better. Like seriously, like this this is some bullshit. If I want to call it that, I'm just gonna say it. This is some bull um so let's pull this up real quick again we got the mark five uh hot toys reissue with the diorama this is basically the mark five uh with racetrack diorama base okay so for those of us who have already purchased this re re reissue we were happy about that i was i was happy to basically get this version die cast everything i was cool with that I would have actually gotten his base. I would have actually gotten the updated version, the upgrade. I would have got the, you know, I would have done it, you know, if it was a deluxe version to have that diorama, I'd have been like, yeah, I'm all in for it. I would have done that, but we didn't have that option. This is the same shit that they actually pulled with the Anakin Skywalker. Same exact thing that they did with that. They gave us the light side Anakin. And then a few months later, they give us what? The dark side Anakin, instead of giving us a figure with two head sculpts and the option to have a diorama base, that was foul. And you would have thought that they learned from that point. No, they didn't. They're doing the same thing with this figure. Now, if this is it, and, and I was talking like a, a friend of mine, he was like, yo, if this was basically a uh, a release, you know, a special release for only Hong Kong, there's something totally different. But if this is a national, you know, pretty much worldwide release, North American release everywhere else, then this is stupid. And my opinion is dumb. You know, quote me if you know everybody can, you know, say what you will. It's just in my opinion, I think this is one of the dumbest releases that we've gotten th thus far. Like, really, really stupid. Um, you know, it, it's it's for me, it's dumb. Like, 
Carlos, you don't see an issue. I do because of the simple fact that number one, I mean, I see what you're saying, but the problem is we got this not too long ago. It was a reissue of a reissue, but they didn't give us the option to actually have a diorama base. That's my problem. You're releasing this figure again with the diorama base, but don't give us a chance to actually say, okay, if we want to purchase the diorama base separately, we can. I mean, they're doing that. They're giving us a separate diorama base with that No Way Home um, lizard diorama base. So you can actually, some, you know, people can get that if they want. We didn't get a chance to get this. So it, it, it to me, it makes perfectly good sense. It's the dumbest thing. And it for me, my argument makes sense. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel the same way. If you got the Mark V, there should have been an option to get the deluxe version, and we didn't have that option. We didn't get it. So now people are, are those who want to get this, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It's 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 it, it's it's really stupid. Like to do something like this again, I mean, I'm not trying to basically sound, and I'm definitely not sounding privilege. In my opinion, it's dumb because again. You would have made more money and probably move more units if you would have did this as a deluxe version. But no, you're not. You're not. And people who probably ordered this and probably have it on pre-order to pay off still, they'll probably cancel that and go after this. So that's more of a headache. It's a stupid thing. If it's if it if this is only if this is only for their market, if it's only for the Hong Kong market over there exclusively for them, then that's fine. But if you release this as a worldwide wide release, if I see this on Sideshow, I think it's a dumbass move. I really do. I think it's dumb. In my opinion, it's stupid because now it's mainly a cash grab. And for those of us who have the Mark V, would have probably got, I mean, I know I would have, if they would have basically said, look, here's the deluxe, here's the regular edition, here's the special edition, I would have got that. But they didn't give us the option. And I think that's kind of foul. Again, the same shit that they did with the Anakin Skywalker, light side, dark side. You wait till later to basically release it when you could have did this all together. It made more sense. This is dumb in my opinion. I'm sorry. I stand by it. You know, people can argue with me if they want. I think it's the dumbest thing that they ever done. They should have. What was that? Figure Asic. He said they should have done that base with the last release, but it's a business move. It is. It's a business move that they think is legit, but us looking at it and people who have already purchased the figure, and then on top of it, sitting out there doesn't make sense. I, I, I see. I, I, I'm sorry, Carlos. I, 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 I have to disagree. It has nothing to do with resale value. It, it. I definitely disagree, bro. Because the thing is, it kind of makes us, people like us, look really, really stupid for purchasing this figure. And then you basically do a, a reissue, a re-release with the diorama basis, a slap in the face for those of us who would have actually gotten it. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Like it is. These, these releases are getting, it makes, and this right now, it is definitely a cash grab. It makes me not ever want to purchase another Iron Man figure again. Like literally, that's where I'm at right now because this right, you're showing me this is the length that you're willing to go. And I was like, yo, just a few days ago, we're praising you because of the release that you or the reveal, you know what I mean, of the Valkyrie figure. I'm like, okay, all right, well, I'm cool with that. I'm good. And then this, it doesn't make sense to me. This, this really doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, you know, you get that head sculpt, you get the, the, come on, man. It just, look at that. I would have actually literally purchased this. I would have got the deluxe version if they would have gave us that option. You've given us that option with every other figure. Then you wait to now you're going to do this. Now, if they decide to release this base separately, okay, then I can understand because then there's an option for those of us who didn't actually purchase or didn't have this option before, okay, we can say, all right, we'll get the diorama base separately. I can I can understand that. I can pay, I would pay that because I actually like the diorama base. I would do that. But to only make it exclusive now as a re-release and say, okay, we're going to add the figure with the base. Come on, man, that's a slap in the face, Carlos. I mean, come on, reality, bro. Be honest, man. Like, let's be honest, bro. Call it stupid. You have to call stupid when it's stupid, man, for real. It is stupid. Take business aside out of it, bro. That business, all that shit, because the thing is, your business, is, it ain't shit without the consumer. 
Your business ain't shit. You might be, it's a smart business move for you, but it's not, it ain't shit. It's definitely ain't shit when it comes to people who are purchasing these figures. We're supporting your company. We're putting money's in, money in your pocket. So I'm saying, like, I mean, we have claim there, to be quite honest. And when you do stupid shit like that, it's a slap in your face. It's a slap in the face of the consumer, in my opinion. And I stick by it. I'm going to stand by that. And I don't care who wants to argue that fact. It's dumb as fuck. Literally. Dumb as fuck. It's dumb as fuck. I'll call it out like that. It is. Everybody's always quick to say it's a smart fucking business move. But you're not looking at the consumer, man. Like, that's dumb. Come on, man. Let's live in reality for real. On some real shit. That's just me. I'm just going to keep it at that. Anyway, it looks good. It looks like it looks like it's a decent looking base. But again, it's just a fucking slap in the face to for, for those of us who may have wanted this piece. It's foul. Like, that's a foul move. I'm sorry. That's foul as shit. That's foul. That is real, real, real foul. It is. For real. And on top of that, you're doing this shit and we're still like, all right, for instance, a lot of us have gotten these delays. There's the delay on the cap, the um, the, the Sam Wilson cap in America. That's been delayed. Probably won't see that till first quarter of next year. There's going to be other delays. They'll probably delay Bo-Katan again, Ahsoka. They'll probably delay that. That Wonder Woman 84, they'll probably end up delaying that as well. That Batman, for, they'll probably end up delaying that. Who knows where it's going to sit right now? This is bullshit. And for the, okay. So I, again, again, like I said, I mean, for me, I'm going to stick by the simple fact that this is dumb. It is. It's dumb as fuck. It is. You got to call it the way to, 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 to really... Anybody, I'm sorry, if you're going to defend this, if you're going to defend this particular action, I am sorry, then then you have a right to your opinion. That's fine. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, it's dumb as fuck. It's the dumbest fucking move you can make when it comes to releasing these figures, especially if it's only a few months after you've already released a reissue of this figure. You're going to do it again and then add a base. It doesn't make fucking sense. It's dumb to me, and nobody's going to change my mind. It's dumb as fuck, plain and simple, plain and simple. It is, plain and simple. It's a smack in the face, man, to everybody and anybody who's wanted this. For real, it is. It's, it's, it's a smack in the fucking mouth, man. It is. It is definitely a smack in the mouth because this right here, Come on, man. Come on, man. Again, your business ain't shit without the consumer, for real. It ain't. If all of us just rallied and said, you know what? We're not going to buy this shit. If everybody was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not buying it. I already have the Mark V. At least you can give me that option. At least you can put out a disclaimer or be more transparent and say, you know what? This is a reissue. Okay, cool. We're doing it. We're adding the base. For those of you who have not had the chance to or didn't have the advantage of actually getting this, then, okay, we'll put out the base separately. You can purchase it. And they would still make more money. Save face. It would be, all right, wash my hands of it. It's cool. You're not giving people that option. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's dumb. This has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And, 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 and you know what? Uh, Granny Pat, I hope if 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 that's true, if that's true, if it doesn't end up at Sideshow, then I understand. Then that's cool if it doesn't. But if this does end up hitting Sideshow, if Sideshow starts selling this right now, then literally this is the dumbest thing you could have ever done. It was. It was the dumbest thing. There you go, um, um, Loco. I'm, I'm, you're right. I'm right there with you. This was sloppy as fuck. It was a sloppy move. At least wait. At least wait. Or at least, again, put this figure out with the base and then give us a separate base. This was sloppy as fuck. Like, literally, this was dumb. Like, this is the dumbest move you could ever make. I'm sorry. It is stupid. It is very dumb. And it's arrogant. Like, literally, it's an arrogant-ass move. Because you're literally saying, you know what? F it. Uh-uh. Nah. I'm not buying into that, man. 
I'm not, I'm definitely not buying into it. I mean, it looks good, but not, I mean, listen, listen, me and myself, I'm cool with my Mark five. I can, you know, again, I've seen, as a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to pull something up in, in a minute. Cause Bob Dylan actually sent me out a diorama that was damn near dope. It was dope as hell. Um, I would probably more so go that route. If anything, um, I'm going to pull this up because he showed me some pieces. Um, and I think it's, it's damn good. Um, but this, yeah, nah, I'm sorry. I, sometimes, like I said, you just got to air it out and I'm going to call him out on the bullshit. And that's what I'm doing. Like hot toys for real. This was a bullshit ass move, which you basically just did just now was a bull. There was a bull. It was a bullshit ass move. Don't like it. I don't think it's cool. I really don't think it's cool. I don't. I don't think it's cool. Not at all. I definitely don't think it's cool. I, I, I definitely don't think you thought you think about the consumer. You don't think about anybody, you know, out there, you know, who is, you know, pretty much purchasing your pieces. Like, you're not thinking about that. You're not. You're not. And I hope and, and, and for your sake, I do hope it doesn't actually hit the U.S. It doesn't hit North America, because if it does, I'm telling you, number one, it's going to sit. It's going to sit for some time, especially when you have two figures Two releases competing with themselves already a Mark five. Cause then again, people are going to always look at the cheaper option. Again, they're going to look at, well, this Mark fives, why would I need this? Cause you're, and again, you're cheating yourself. And in, in the end, in my opinion, you're cheating yourself. You're really cheating yourself. You're playing yourself. You are, you are, you're playing yourself. You really, really are. They are literally leaving money on the table when it comes to this piece. It doesn't really make sense. I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Straight up. Straight up. It's childish. It is. It's childish. Anyway, like I said, people are going to have their opinions and 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 let them have it. I don't really care. Let everybody have their opinion. Let everybody talk to shit. They can go ahead and do it. I'm not falling for it. I just know that basically it's stupid. For real. It is stupid and it is a slap in the face to us as consumers and people who actually did purchase the Mark V. Again, you know what I mean? If you purchase it, give it it doesn't it doesn't make sense. You gave us the Logan, right? You give us the Wolverine, right? You give us the regular version, you give us the one with the diorama basic exclu exclusive version. So you give us that. You've done this. You've demonstrated that you're able to do these things. So why is this is my argument, right? So why are we stupid? And why is it uh, stupid for us to have this argument when you've already demonstrated that you can do those things, right? You've done it before, right? And then with this, it's something totally different. That's what doesn't make sense to me. It really, really doesn't. It, it doesn't make sense to me because now you're basically being arrogant about these releases and saying, you know what? Fuck you to consumers. I'm going to do what I want to do. You either buy it or you don't. If you can't get your hands on that base, sorry for you. Again, I have the Mark V. I'm cool with it. I can probably create my own piece, my own diorama base. I'm just saying I'm calling it for what it is. It is what it is. This right now and this right here is a huge slap in the fucking face. It is. It really is. What's that? Uh, I hope so. I'm hoping. I'm willing to bet Hot Toys will make an announcement saying that the base will be made available separately due to feedback. I hope they do because it would probably be in their best interest, interest to do so. It would. It would be simply smart for them to do that. It would make so much sense because then at the same time, you are looking out for those of us who didn't get our hands on it. Like it's the same thing that like there, there has to be a level of transparency here. That's all I'm saying. There has to be a level of transparency because we are the ones who are purchasing these pieces, man. Like there's common sense there. It has to be. There really has to be some common sense there, man, for real, because this Nah. And I guarantee and, and the thing is, it hasn't showed up on Sideshow yet. Now it is, you know, I did see it on Toys Wonder, and I think it's going for like 468 or, or or something like that. I think they got yeah, they got it for like 495, 48. That's what it's going right now. 
over there, you know, with Toys Wonderland. So that's the price for it there. Now, who knows how much it will actually, and that's, I think that's, I don't even think it has it listed by batch. That's just mainly what it is. So it's four ninety five forty eight over there, Toys Wonderland. Who knows what it's going to be with Sideshow if it hits Sideshow. Again, if this doesn't hit Sideshow and it's exclusively for the Asian market, if it's exclusively for, exclusively for the Hong Kong market and everything over there, then that's fine. I retract my statement. You do what you do because it, I guess it's going to be an exclusive over there. If it hits North America, then in a sense, yo, that's dumb as F in my opinion. I'm sorry. I'm sticking by it. I'm sticking by it. Anybody, anybody, as a matter of fact, anybody out there thinking of picking this up, if it does, let me know. Are you going to get this? Exactly. Collector Joey, I agree. They gave us Valkyrie to soften us up for today. That's exactly what they did. That's exactly that, what they did. Chewie's, I don't collect Iron Man for this very reason. I ordered the Mark III 2.0, and that will be the only Iron Man I'll ever get. There you go. That's the thing. And you know what, Chewie's Bandolier, you make a great, a great point. They are literally going to sour individuals when it comes to this. When they do stuff like that, they're going to sour a lot of people on pieces. Like, literally, they are. On actually collecting, you know, Iron Man figures. Because now... Again, where something that started out really good is becoming a laughing stock because people just don't want it. You know what I mean? Brenda said, but even if it stays in Asia, that's a middle finger to Asian collectors on a budget, too. You're correct. You're correct. It is. Heck, one. I might just wait for the regular Mark V to tank in price and get that one. You might as well because it's going to end up. So, you know what, Ek one? A good, another good point. By doing this, they are literally, literally fucking themselves because the, the simple fact that that right there is going to sit, that Mark V, and I feel sorry. Honestly, at this point, I feel sorry for companies like Hot Toys, I mean, for um, Sideshow, because now that's going to sit. It's going to occupy space. That's going to be another one. Literally. It's gonna, like like my man, uh, 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 DJ Khaled, another one and another one. Seriously, that's just what's going to be. It's going to sit. No, I'm not falling for that, man. I'm not falling for that. I'm definitely not saw, falling for it because it's definitely not fair to the consumer, man. It's not. And you got to be realistic. Seriously. We can't. The thing is, it's to, to, to call this business, to say that it's a business move. You know what I mean? When you're thinking about it from that aspect, you're taking it away from the simple fact that we have the consumer. Sorry about that. You're taking the simple fact that the consumers are the ones that are putting money into it. And it, there's a budget. We are budgeting. It's for the love doesn't basically garnish stupidity from a company straight up and that doesn't mean that i can't put you on blast when you're doing dumb shit you know what i mean i'm gonna put you on blast because in my opinion this was dumb this was dumb this was the dumbest move you could have ever made i'm sorry it is it's a dumb move it's definitely a dumb move do better do better Do better. Now, Commander Crook, I'm going to answer your question. I don't understand why anyone would get worked up over this. This is their decision, and if it fails, it fails. You're right. If it fails, it fails. My point is the simple fact that it's, it's a beautiful-looking piece. It is. My point is I'm not even so much as worked it up at the simple fact that this is a really – I'm worked up at the simple fact that right now – Hot Toys is holding on to my money because I've paid money on figures, number one, that are still delayed, that we're still waiting for, right? So we're still waiting for that. But then you keep giving us these releases. You keep, I mean, not these releases, these reveals. And then this particular reveal, when you've already gave us a 2.0 re-release a couple months back, that's my only point. It's not the simple fact that, okay, you're going, Hot Toys is going to do what they want to do. But I think that they really right now at this point, it is sort of a slap in the face to the consumer. That's why, that's why I see it. And you're right. It's not a huge upgrade at all. Hot Toys 101. We have to care about this stuff for Hot Toys. But keep giving us this shit. If you want Iron Man's every week, then keep buying into this shit. You're true. You, that's what I'm saying. Every week, you're going to keep buying into the same thing. Still waiting on Bo-Katan, me too. That's what I'm talking about. I'm still waiting on that. 
Local Lou. They did the same thing with Venom, but Venom was selling out and going for a stack, then reissues. Nothing really new. You're right. You're right, Lou. But they don't. Here's the thing is that they don't learn. They don't learn. Hey, Lael. Yeah, I saw this and was what? It was what? Yeah, exactly. That's just the way it is. Like, the thing is, it's look, we we vote with our money. We know that we we basically vote with our money. We can decide whether or not we want to collect or not. You know what I mean? A couple of people are like, yo, I don't collect Iron Man and I think this is dumb. It is. It's, it's the truth, man. Like it's it. I mean, literally, man, like we it's like some people are probably looking at us like, Yo, why are we so passionate about this? This is dumb. And it's like a dumb conversation. No, it's not. Because the thing is, you're really like people are still paying off figures. People are still waiting on figures. I am bet you there are people still waiting. Like there's, there's a few people that I know that are still waiting on that into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales that's been paid off, but they don't have it in hand right now. People that are still waiting for that. There are batches that have been sent to Sideshow that haven't been basically. With, as a matter of fact, I have like, for instance, tomorrow, I guess uh, my my uh, cable is supposed to ship. I don't know that it's supposed to. Who knows? It can be delayed. You never know. But the thing is, we're looking at all of this. We're looking at the simple fact that there are figures out there that we're waiting on, that we've been waiting on, that were supposed to be released Q3 or even like early summer that have been delayed that we probably won't see until first quarter of 2023. Literally. But then you're giving us this. Oh, yeah, we'll give you this. And somebody said this early. They softened the blow by basically giving us the release of that Valkyrie first, to reveal that Valkyrie first. And then they did this. Nah, man, I'm not buying it. I'm definitely not buying it. Iron Man is a moneymaker for hot toys, no doubt. But let's not pretend other ones aren't massively profitable for them, too. They could make this money other ways to respect the collectors. They could. And they don't. At this point, there's no respect for the collector, man. This is where I sit. There's there's zero respect. And I'm tired of people looking at it from a business standpoint instead of looking at it from a consumer standpoint. Like, literally. Again, like, it, my, and that's basically my argument is that we're sitting on these things, man. We're sitting on these pieces. They're sitting on stuff that they could be releasing. They could, you could put more, because here's the thing. You're putting less, less attention on and less money on production more money on material and stuff like that, getting pieces like this made and slapping people in the face. You're showing us what you, you can do. Hot Toys, we know your artistry is on point, but at the same time, it's like, okay, then put that same energy into releases. Releases on figures that we're waiting on. If you're not going to give us that same energy, then what's the fucking point? At the end of the day, that's my argument. That's where basically I'm sitting right now. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. I call it. Anybody who's going to get this that's completely fine. If you want to get it, I'm happy for you. I'm not going to do it because number one, I already have the Mark V, but would have been nice to actually get that base or East, at least at that time, have the option for it, especially if you had every intent on releasing the base. That's the thing. Again, it's a source spot for me because number one, it's the same shit that they did with that Anakin figure. When they gave us the, the light side Anakin, everybody purchased it. They pre-ordered it. They re released the figure. And then you did a 2.0, not even a few months after that, with the dark side head sculpt and a diorama base. Like the guy with the meme. Does that make sense? Nah, it doesn't. Anyway, everybody out there, tell me what you think, man. I, like I said, I'm, I'm done with my rant. I'm not going to actually get this, this piece. Tobar, thank you for being here, man. Um, Hot Toys gives you what they want you to have, not what you want. Exactly. That's what they do. Hence, lazy and ill-timed. Yep, you're definitely right. Lazy and ill-timed. They shouldn't have actually done it. Anyway, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't say it enough, man. I can't say it enough. It's a lazy move. It's an effed up move, especially for those of us who have already purchased the Mark V, who've already... The thing is, it's like, yo... I'm going to have support and I'm going to continue to support you, but I'm also call you out on the bullshit. Straight up, straight up. It's like if you work for a company, you work for the company to basically make money. But if they bullshit you, then you're going to call them out. Plain and simple. I'm calling everybody out. I might support you. You might even be my best friend. But if you do some fuckery, I'm going to call you out on it. I'm going to be like, yeah, you fucked up. 
plain and simple. So I'm treating them like a best friend. Oh, yeah, you fucked up. You got to clean up, clean that shit up straight up. Dollar 79, Lael, I'm with you. How much more can we take enough straight up? It is what it is, man. It is what it is. This was such a dud. The geek geeking out didn't do a morning stream on it. You're right, bro. That's the thing. Yo, loco, it's a dud. I don't even know why I'm talking about it, but I'm just pissed because I'm like, yo, come on, man. This is stupid. Commander Crook. There are pre-orders that are creeping towards being two years old. You're right. Two effing years old, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. There are pre-orders that are still sitting out there that are almost two years old. Expiry. Hence, Loki, Endgame. We are still sitting on that particular figure, and there's no word of it. Number one, nothing. And that could have been more attention on that and getting that out to people instead of this bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm going to call it the way I see it. And that's the bottom line. Because Lael said so. Plain and simple. Everybody out there, man, look, it's, it's been a good one. Sorry that I had to rant, but I'm sorry that you guys were actually here. Everybody out in the chat, have a good day, man. I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. We can't change it, but we can voice our opinion and make our opinions heard. Plain and simple. Vote with your money, pretty much. Be honest with yourself. If you're going to get this, don't be fooled. If you already have the Mark V, keep the Mark V. In my opinion, don't do this shit. Don't get a second one just to get diorama base. Wait and see if they release the diorama base separately and say, hey, sorry to fuck up, but we're going to give you this shit. Okay, cool. I can rock with you. But if they don't, then it is what it is. And if I see this on Sideshow within a matter of days or a couple of hours, whatever, yeah, my point is proven. They fucked up. It is what it is. Besides that, man, love y'all all day, every day. Can't wait to talk to y'all later on. Uncivilized Scoundrels tonight, me, Mario, my man, Vince. CC and uh, mm, we'll be talking about everything that's going on in the Star Wars world. Everybody have a nice afternoon. But again, I'm just going to say it right off the top. Be smart with your money. Spend well, but speak your peace and don't hold back and don't give a fuck what everybody else thinks. Middle finger to this actual shit right here because it was dumb. I'm moving on. I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.